So if you're taking a step back, you're not talking to the degenerates anymore. The degenerates that you used to call friends that play video games all the time, who endlessly invest their real time into video game time. You don't talk to them anymore. You think it's not worth it. You're on your self-improvement grind. And what are they doing? <clears throat> I said that bit fast. I'm going to give you time to think. And what are they doing? You know, I usually try to log into Roblox like once or twice a day. I'm not playing any games. Because there's nothing good to play, in my opinion. What do I play? Doors? Phantom Forces? None, nothing's good. Nothing's good. Everything's mid. Everything's trash. Right? And I log on to see what my friends are doing. And I sometimes, I go on my main account. I see my friends that I used to talk to like years ago. Years ago. They're all still online, still playing. One of them was like 19 when I met him three years ago. <laughs> the guy is 20, 22. I knew that I could verify them because I actually knew him a bit. We were talking Discord and everything. He's 22 and he's still playing fucking Roblox. He's still playing Roblox. Let me just swear. That's not halal. <laughs> Ask yourself... After you've distanced yourself from the people that you consider to be down bad, to be degenerative, to be on the lower end spectrum of life, what are they doing now? I can guarantee you nothing of value. These people that, once you woke up, you woke up for a second, and you decided, okay, I'm going to be on my self-improvement journey, and I'm going to grind in real life instead of the video game, and I'm, I'm going to stop taking the drugs, I'm not going to stop... Smoking weed, smoking, general drinking, taking tra taking video the drugs, which is also video games. Video games. I'm gonna stop all the minus distractions, mindlessly scrolling through social media, mindlessly scrolling on my phone, deleting all my social media apps. I don't have Snapchat. The other guy, well, the other day, another guy, uh, a guy that I met in my gym, my boxing gym, he asked me, "Oh, do you not have Snapchat?" Or I said, "I don't have any social media." He's like, "Why do you have? Why don't you have any social media?" He asked me, why don't I have any social media? You know what I said? Because it's all bullshit. It's all a waste of time. It's all consumerism. Oh, it's not in like that one big <laughs> speech where I just said, bullshit, waste of time, or consumerism. That's it. Because it is. It is. I've spent from 14, 15, 15, 16... Those those years, 13, 14, those years I spent on social media, on YouTube, grind, like Twitter, all these stupid platforms that grinded away at my soul. Instead of posting on Instagram, I consumed Instagram. <gasps> Instead of posting on TikTok, I consumed TikTok. Instead of posting on YouTube, I consumed YouTube. I thought like a consumer instead of a producer. And this heavily, heavily destroyed my soul. Genuinely destroyed my soul. Because when you're, you're just... When you're mindlessly consuming uh, content, when you're just genuinely being a robot, that's what I was starting on. Right? <laughs> when you're genuinely just being a robot, consuming, consuming, consuming content all day, you are not going to be happy. <laughs> what the fuck? It's the smell, man. Okay, bleach. You are not going to be happy. I, I, I was on. I was like fourteen on TikTok. Oh, not for TikTok. TikTok wasn't a thing back then. Uh, when I was 15, 16, that's when TikTok started growing. I was 14 on, on Instagram. And I used to see guys that were fitter than me, had a better life than me, had made more money than me, getting more girls than me. And I used to be ruthlessly jealous. But I didn't use this jealousy for something good. Like, like I said before in another video, jealousy, anger, envy, hatred. Those emotions are good if you put them towards something positive. The negative can turn into positive if you put them in the right thing, right? For like for a lot of boxers, harboring negative emotions is actually quite a good thing. Because if you harbor negative emotions, you direct towards your opponent. It's very, very easy to you know to benefit, win the fight. <sighs> okay, that's a side side tangent, side tangent. Like my soul was destroyed seeing this, seeing these things. And I fell into depressive depressive periods of my life, seeing these things. And I still see guys my, my age who haven't grown up, who haven't seen the truth, who haven't quit this bullshit. And they just 
still wallow in the same just <laughs> time wasting bullshit that I used to. And as much as I try, I, I try to grab them out and take them out of that of that uh, thing, that just hellhole, that the just endless abyss of hedonism. I can't. I ask myself the question: What are they doing now? Nothing productive. Good. That's what I expected. Good. Genuinely good. Because if they're doing nothing productive, and I was used to always be around these guys, and I made the conscious decision to just distance myself from these guys, and I how I am distant from these guys, and they're still doing the bad habits. Good. I made the right decision. I made the right call. I left. Ask yourself. Okay, guys, what are these guys doing now? Don't look back with regret. This is disrespectful. This is disrespectful. No, it's like something like this. Yeah, yeah. Sayonara.